Hello everyone and welcome to this week's craft tutorial. This week I will be showing you guys how you can make your very own Jack Skellington Tsum Tsum inspired plush. So here's the finished piece, front and back. Here are all the supplies you will need for this craft. You will need the pattern I have drawn on the left, felt in white and black. And if you don't have black, you could just as easily use white for the entire project. You will also need a needle and thread, black thread and some polyfill stuffing and a pair of scissors. You'll wanna start by copying this pattern down and then cutting out all the necessary pieces. So you will need two body pieces, one in white felt and one in black felt. Alternatively, if you only have white felt, you can make two in white and it will be fine. These two side embellishment pieces are optional but you will need two eye pieces and four leg pieces. If you do not have black felt, you can embroider the eyes on afterwards. This is what it should look like once you have all the pieces you need cut out. Now we can take the eyes and sew them onto our front body piece. And I do apologize for the shakiness of this uh, session of the filming. I think I was listening to some awesome music and I was just, you know, chilling out. So that's one eye done, and you can do the other eye in the same way, and then we'll move on to the next step. Which is embroidery! So I already did the little nostrils, where I just went up and down on the same spot with my needle and thread. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do the mouth. So what you're going to want to use is the back stitch, I think that's what it's called. And you want to stick your needle first in the spot where the direction you want it to go, and then you're going to go back a little bit which is why it's called the back stitch. And when you bring your needle up, you want to, once again, choose where you want your thread to end up. And so, kind of just look at what I'm doing, look up reference, how to do it, and then when you're putting the needle back in, you go at the end of the last stitch we made and bring our needle up where we want the next stitch to end. I hope this makes sense to you guys. If it's a little bit confusing, I apologize. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like a detailed video on how to do this stitch. Also, I am freehanding this while going off the reference that I have drawn. Um, but I would suggest, you know, drawing lightly in pencil or fabric pen before you do this so that you have a guideline to follow. Once we have the overall shape of the mouth done, we can do the little stitchings on it. And those are really easy to do, so you just want to bring your needle up from the back of the felt and cross over the mouth line that we made and just keep repeating that all the way across, kind of random and organically or following the reference. And this is what it should look like when it's all done. Next step is to sew together our little feet pieces. So you're going to take two of those pieces and sew them together using the overstitch on the U-shaped part, you don't have to sew the straight part closed. After both feet are finished, we are ready to sew together the entire piece. So we're gonna sandwich the embellishments in between the black back piece, or white if you only used white, and the face piece, and also we're gonna put the feet in between there too. Then we can sew around the entire piece using the overstitch and leaving a small gap at the bottom in between the legs so that we can stuff the piece before closing. And here he is, just about all sewn and ready to have stuffing. So I'm just going to use a blunt ended object to stuff it and then once I'm done and I'm happy with the amount of stuffing in there, close them up and tie a couple knots and then hide the thread inside. Ta-da! You have a finished Jack Skellington Tsum Tsum plush, or felty. I tend to call them felties because they're made of felt. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed making this craft with me. Uh, if you have any ideas for future crafts I can do, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and, you know, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Please feel free to check me out on all my social media accounts. I have a Facebook page, 
an Etsy where you can make custom orders, as well as a Crafty Mino account where I update most frequently and you can see all my works in progress as well as finished pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.